What's going on? This is my life in the show. I'm your host, Donna Washington. Chicago police have announced that they have recovered over 700 illegal guns off of the streets of Chicago as of January 23rd, 2021. Only 23 days into 2021, they have recovered over 700 guns. Now, check this. 2020, they've recovered over 11,000 guns. Wow. In this video, I want to talk about should Chicago implement stop and frisk like they did in New York. Also, I want to bring you guys AC Green from the AC Green Show. He's going to be talking about the carjackings. There's 144, over 144 carjackings as of today, January 23rd, 2021. He's going to be calling for men to step up and patrol your own community, just like New Era Chicago has been doing for the last four years. I want to bring you guys AC Green's posts. AC Green posted this on his Facebook. There's been 140, actually 100, over 144 carjackings since the start of this year. The brothers will be standing ground tomorrow, Saturday, which was this morning. The men meeting at 57th and Lake at 11 a.m. Our goal is to protect our women. Please meet us at 57th and Lake Park tomorrow at 11 a.m. I want to bring you guys on where they met. Um, they met out here. All right. They met here and then went to another location to a gas station. So, this is 57th and Lake. That's where they met up at. Now, I'm going to bring you guys his interview on WGN. AC Green from the AC Green Show gave an interview. He gave a lot of good points that the men, the men, she's going to ask him, hey, what about the women? He said the men need to step up in these communities and protect their women and children. Also, he's going to point out the economic struggle for these children and the fatherless children in these communities. And the OGs in the communities need to step up and check these young brothers and sisters that's committing these crimes. I'm gonna bring you guys his uh, interview, For WGN. Making sure we bring safety to our communities. Now, we get the police are doing what they are doing, whether we agree that that's good or bad or not enough, it doesn't matter. We get that the prosecutions are not what they should be, whether that's what you want it to be or whatever it, it is. But what gotta happen, we gotta make sure that we're doing everything we can in our own communities to bring safety. So you call in for men. Um, why not women, too? Well, women are coming. Um, they are coming, but they're not coming to, to stand in protection. We're protecting them. They're coming to support. They're coming to pray and be an encouragement to the men. You pointed out on the show yesterday morning, because I was listening, you said that it's time to step up because many in our own community are actually committing these crimes. Yeah, these are these are our sons. These are our brothers. These are our cousins. And, you know, at some level, there has to be a greater sense of personal responsibility when it comes to family. Yeah, maybe this household doesn't have what it, what we had. I had a mother and a father. I grew up in that household. Maybe this household doesn't have that. Maybe that household doesn't have that. But we have to be the difference for each other. And at the moment we refuse to be the difference for what is lacking somewhere else, the community just falls apart. We... All right, I want to jump in this conversation. I talk about group economics on My Life in the Shy show all the time. We spend 98% of our money outside of our communities. We spend $1.3 trillion a year. We are the biggest consumers in the United States of America. Help that make sense. We need to start spending our money in our communities. What does that do? That gives these young teenagers jobs. We should be able to say, hey, young brother, go down the street, get you a job. Therefore, you can put some money in your pockets. You don't have to go rob, kill, and steal from each other. No, but what we do is go outside of our communities, give everybody else's children jobs outside our community. They children got jobs because they children can go right down the street to the corner store and get a job. 
where there's poverty, there is crime and violence. It goes hand in hand. Where there's an economic struggle, there is a violent struggle in that community. Yes. Everyone can help. How can you help? Support the businesses in your community. The small businesses in your community. Whatever it is in your community. Help that business grow. Therefore, you can send these young brothers down the street a job. Because every time you go to work and you pass those cats on your corner that don't have a job because why? They got a felony or they just can't find a job. And when they do, they got to crawl outside their community to get a job. And therefore, they ain't got no hope, no, you know, they may not have a car. And they probably won't get hired. And the jobs they are getting are minimum wage jobs. You know, so that's one thing we have to come together on. Also, um, I want to bring you guys, should we implement stop and frisk? Should we implement stop and frisk? Now, I posted this question on my Life in the Shire's Facebook page. I asked... Should we stop implement stop and frisk in everybody? I'm gonna say like 98% of the people on there said absolutely not. No way it's gonna be discriminatory. It's gonna be a violation of our civil rights. However, in my 20s, I would have said no way, no how. I'm 41 now. I would say if it'll prevent one baby seven years old playing on an iPad from getting a straight bullet to her brain, I would say I would give up my civil rights in that aspect and implement Stop It Frisk. It worked in New York. Will it be discriminatory? Yes. However, at the end of the day, we gotta come to a conclusion. When I did the stats yesterday, I did a show yesterday, the stats came out in our communities, 95, 98% of the stats, crimes, murders are being committed by who? People from my community. Will more of the stop and frisk be, be done in my community? Yes. Should it be? I'm going to say yes. Sad to say. I hate to say it. But if there's, if 98% of the murders are coming out of this community, 98% of the stop and frisk should come out of that community. Will it be discriminatory? Yes. But at the end of the day, we gotta say, hey, if, if, if men from the communities ain't willing to step up and, and control their own communities and stop themselves, how many years are we gonna go with hundreds and hundreds of li little innocent babies, five, seven, nine years old, catching a straight bullet so they don't. In fact, I would even say I would let the mothers of these murdered babies, I would let y'all make the decision. All 800 of them from last year. All 750 something from the previous year. And the 800 from that year. And the 1,000 that's going to be this year. I would let them make the decision. I would say, you know what? I'll let y'all, I'll let y'all call it. And let's see what they say. That'll be interesting. Because I'm like, hey, if it'll save one life, at the end of the day, to me, it's it'll be worth it. Yesterday, this young man, Justin Reyes, 27, on the 6500 block of South Kenneth, that's where that is right here. He was killed. This is the West Lawndale neighborhood. He was killed yesterday on the south side. As I was reporting the other murders, he was laying out there being killed. Shot dead. All right? This is the West Lawndale neighborhood here. I don't want to get into my car. Um, but this is where he was killed at. Tragedy, 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 tragedy. Anyway, 
Make sure you guys, for those of you on Facebook, go to uh, My Life in the Shy on YouTube. Go to YouTube, go to My Life in the CHI. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Share this video, hit that like. Also, leave a comment. I read all my comments. I want to get to know y'all who on there. I would usually like or I would try to respond to all of them. However, I do read them all. Alright? And when y'all do uh, share it on social media, tag me in it. My personal page or my life in the shot. Uh, follow my other social media. Anyway, peace y'all. Peace.